Hey there, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode. And today we're gonna create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to give away a brand new LUT and that LUT is for my Patreon members. So if you're not a Patreon yet, then please check on the description list below. And if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And there are tons, there are tons to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we go, we're in Photoshop and let's start with the work compressed and for that press Ctrl and N and um, I'll try to keep it very simple. So let's keep it 4x5, let's keep the resolution as trended, um, color mode to RGB and let's keep everything as default and let's click on create. Alright, now let's drag and drop our very first image. So if you want to get this cut out, please check in the description list below. So let's drag and drop right over here. And let's convert it as a smart object and press Ctrl T. And holding Alt and Shift, let's make it a little smaller. Just like so. All right. Now let's create a background solid and let's give it a kind of darker color for now and anyway we're gonna replace that background with the sky later. So let's click on this one and let's click on OK. Let's rename it as a background. Alright now let's drag and drop our sky image right over here. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's rotate it just like so and let's keep it right under this image and let's keep it right around here for now all right all right now let's drag and drop the player image right over here and let's add a little rotation control t let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it right around here Let's drag and drop this fence PNG right over here. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's rotate it a little bit and let's keep it right around here. And let's keep it right just like that. Let's make a one more copy. Control J, Control T. Let's move it just like so. And let's make a one more copy. Control J, Control T. And let's keep it right around here all right let's make it a little bigger i guess here we we go we go let's keep it right around here here we go now let's make a selection and also let's Click on generate a fill and let's add, let's type add series TRS TRS track. And you know what? I think I like this one better, but let's click one more variation. Yeah, let's keep it like that for now and then we're gonna tweak it later. And now let's add some fire elements. So now let's drag and drop this image right over here. And let's change the blending mode to screen, control T. Let's add a little rotation. Here we go. And let's keep it just under that image. Let's make a one more copy, control J, control T. There we go, and let's make a one more copy, Control J, Control T. Let's add a rotation. Here we go. And let's make a one more copy, Control J, Control T, and let's keep it all the way to the top, Control T. Let's add some rotation here. Here we go, let's keep it right around here. All right, and now let's go on the very top, add a solid. 
let's give it a kind of darker red color let's click on that let's click on soft light click on that layer max go to press go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's erase this just like so now let's go right around here and let's add a highlights around the player's face so let's go over here click on that exposure let's click on that layer max let's increase the exposure just like so here we go let's click on that layer max again go to brush and let's go for black color and let's remove these parts just like so here we go and let's add a little more right around here maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit there we go let's add one right around here highlights just like so and let's go in very top again let's create a new layer go to brush let's go for a kind of warmer color i will say this color and let's add a glow right around here and let's increase the opacity 200 percent and let's create a one more layer and let's change the color to more lighter color just like that and let's add the highlights just like so and let's go on eraser tool and well, let's remove some of these parts just like so and let's add a color lot on very top so that's the main purpose for this video so let's go over here add a color lookup and from here click on load and this is my brand new cine lot so if you want to check this lot file please check in the description list below so click over here and click on load and with just a one click uh, it, it entirely changed the look of your design so here we go and let's do some tricking so let's go over here add a new layer again go to brush and let's go for a kind of brighter color all right and let's add something like that and click on eraser tool let's erase a few parts from here just like so let's go over here let's do some color adjustments so go over here click on that player image go to filter click on the camera raw filter and let's drop down the highlights a little bit let's increase the side of the main thing is let's increase the clarity just like that let's increase the texture and let's drop down the vibrance just like so and let's click on ok here we go now let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e go to filter let's go to blur let's add a motion blur let's increase the motion blur just like that and let's click on ok create a layer max go to brush and let's click on that black color and let's erase motion blur just like so maybe let's add a few right around here here we go all right and let's merge everything again let's rename it as blur layer and let's merge everything again ctrl shift alt any let's go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture let's add a little bit of grain just like so and maybe let's increase the temperature just like that let's increase the vibrance too here we go let's add a little bit of saturation and uh, let's increase the highlights and let's drop down the contrast a little bit here we go and 
let's go on saturation let's increase the saturation for red just like that and let's change the hue more toward red just like that and again let's do the same thing for green and aqua so let's increase the saturation just like so and for the hue let's keep more toward blue yep just like just like that and again let's do the same thing for yellow let's increase the saturation for yellow just like like that and let's change the hue more toward red just like so and let's click an ok and this is before and this is after and let's add a one more overlay and very top and it's completely up to you if you want to add it's okay but if not you can just keep it like that but i want to add overlay and very top let's increase it let's rotate get a little smaller just like that let's change the branding more to soft light let's drop down the opacity just like so and let's add a one more overlay on very top let's drag and drop right around here let's change the blending mode to screen and let's click on that layer max go to brush and let's erase some from here just like so here we go yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye